Thank you, and uh, good night. <laughs> Um, it's a pleasure to be here, and, and I've had a, a spectrum of emotions that's run from being very sad and to being very happy. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to uh, be reading from the emotion of anger. I'm going to start with a short poem from the anthology Poets Against the War, uh, which was put to, edited by Sam Hamill. It's by an eight-year-old by the name of Alexandra Indira Sanyal, written on February 7th, 2003. It's untitled. Snow so fluffy and soft, I like to run and jump into it. It leads to peace and love. Snow stops war and fights that lead to killing. So snow, come today. And this is written, um, I'd like to uh, dedicate this to, as always, for Ellen Ginsberg and for Demetria, who has a poem inspired by his poem, America. Um, so, this is called Whimper for Allen Ginsberg. One. I have seen the best of my generation selling out for a pittance of what they are worth, pursuing Nike commercials and the cover of People magazine, voting for bad actors and heartless economics, brutalizing third world children so we can get a price break on denim jeans wandering the streets, avoiding eye contact, avoiding touch, avoiding one another as killer STDs turn desires and needs from spin the bottle to Russian roulette, denouncing inner city crackheads and trailer park chemists caught on law enforcement reality shows that are watched from the safety of the homes of boob tube junkies, Spending borrowed money to launch angelic armies of death across the desert and, pouring, and posing prisoners in naked piles of flesh for cell phone camera feeding frenzies. Raping the forests and leaving them bruised and limp for all to see while jerking off into ponds populated by three-legged frogs. Sentencing our youth to MTV lobotomy drive-by paranoias and indentured servitude to the World Banks who loan us money today to pay off the loans of tomorrow. Paying compassionate doctors to suck the fat from our hips and inject it into our lips while burning naked under deadly solar rays trying to look like a piece of well-done meat. Digging deep holes to bury atomic poisons lasting a zillion years and hot dogs that do not decompose. <laughs> Filling space with satellites spying on us so government employees looking for terrorists can watch us fuck in our bedrooms and count how many times we say, I love you. Two. America. We worship at the altar of Rumsfeld and burn the bones of the dead like sticks of holy incense. America, Rumsfeld is the corporation buying votes to defeat raising the minimum wage so the working poor will huddle in Walmart parking lots waiting for the doors to open. Rumsfeld, Rumsfeld, Disney CEOs imprint our children with moralistic cartoons tied in with cheap plastic action figures and 600 calorie kitty cheeseburgers. Rumsfeld is marketing genius convincing us a sneaker is not just a sneaker. Rumsfeld is internet porn, the new opiate of the people. Rumsfeld skews his face up in contempt as young American soldier asks for body armor to keep his nuts from being blown off. America, Rumsfeld embraces defenseless developing nations like a drunk uncle at a family wedding who tries to slip you the tongue. Rumsfeld is our Wall Street global terrorist mentality 
our dreams to control the markets of the world. Rumsfeld screws America for not being able to come together, for being split, divided, conquered, controlled. Me first, I got mine, you get yours. Three. You are gone. A soul one with the cosmos of Christ and Buddha. Krishna, Torah, and Koran. Universal one. Accept this small tribute from one lacking the spiritual balls to howl as loudly as you. Thank you.